It was you, wasn't it? You're the reason I'm missing my championship match with Bianca. Again! Oh, it's hardly my fault. Your car service was way too willing to accommodate your new itinerary. You know, they really should have some sort of security on that. Figured the least I could do was play hooky from Raw 2 so we could have a little chat. You really want to do this here? Fight in an airport lounge? Absolutely not. They'd never let me back in, and I love their little mini cupcakes too much. I just want what's mine. What exactly is that, Shotzi? I can't go back in time and hire you at TBD. I can't go back and put you in war games. Your obsession with me is unhealthy. What's unhealthy is theft. And I'm not just talking about war games. You may have gotten a free pass from Regal to waltz around WWE, ripping off other people's ideas, moves, and gear, but you didn't get a free pass from me. You're the number one contender. That should be me. Put it on the line in a match. Win or lose, we are done after that. If it means never having to deal with your BS again, fine, you're on. But only because there's no way I lose. A leader in or out of the ring. The okay. Number one contenders match. Then. Cap versus Shotzi. His Falls Count Anywhere match. Making her way to the ring. Oh, Falls Count York, Anywhere. The Superstar. Ever since she arrived in WWE, we've been wondering who Cap really is. Now, I think everyone can see. A natural leader who is earning her colleagues' respect? That seems like a good reputation to have. but she has quickly grown in popularity. Yeah, and quickly earned success too, Michael. Shotzi's a former NXT Tag Team Champion and nearly defeated Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's title. Shotzi in a smelly tank. Energetic and fearless, Shotzi is ready for a fight. We'll call it an act of defiance or call it one of delusion, but Shotzi isn't backing down. From the moment the captain okay. arrived in WWE, here we go. Balls count anywhere. They finally meet again to settle their issues. Defeat Shotzi. This goes back even further to the independent scene. It's a long-standing grudge that transitioned oh. to WWE and then was punctuated with a tank attack. It seems like a Falls Count Anywhere match is a perfect way for these two to wrap up their long-time battle. Oh. She's got an answer for that. Connecting with a sharp Oh. Shotzi got some moves. And she had Shotzi's number there. to the gut and oh brutal forearm oh look at this showing off with a big flex and then a pull and a stomp right to the back oh ouch 
Look at this, just stomp after stomp after stomp. You have to Ooh. imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stomp um. someone like that. Ooh, merciless looking blow. She says, no thanks. Heads out of the ring, what's next? What's she looking for under the ring? Yeah, she was looking for her old pal named Kendo under there. Boom, head first. Kendo. Knee straight to the gut, stays off the attack. Reversals, reversals, ooh. and more reversals. Kick to the gut, and ooh, brutal form. Now ah, trampling the opposition. Hey, we're all getting free tickets to the gun show. Kick to the back. Ooh, stiff kick. Now oh, this is gonna hurt. Dominator. Cover. There's two. After years Ooh, of okay. Has finally put Shotzi behind her. What a win. I don't think Shotzi got the memo, Saxton. She's not going to take this insult lying down. Spear out of nowhere from Bianca Belair. The women's world champion just obliterated Shotzi. Looks like Bianca's just as tired of Shotzi's shenanigans as anyone. And now the champion and the number one contender are facing off. We may not have to wait for a match. This could jump off right here. It's finally happening. The number one contender and the women's world champion will finally go one on one. It's about darn time. This is going to be an epic clash for that championship, and I can't wait to see it. Thanks for having my back out there. I was annoyed. Honestly, I think the whole WWE universe was. So, I guess this means we're finally gonna get our match, huh? You're pretty excited for someone who's about to get handled. <laughs> I see how it is. Well, you just go ahead and underestimate me, champ. Oh, I don't underestimate you at all. I've seen your stuff on the indies. I know you can go, but so can I. You've watched my indie matches? I didn't know you'd be into that. What? Just because I started wrestling at WWE and never had an independent run doesn't mean I can't appreciate what you did there. I mean, that dive off the balcony against La Congregita Loca? Wild. Self-destructive and probably ill-advised, but wild. Man, if you had ever been a free agent when I was in TBD, I would have gladly jumped off a balcony against you too. That sounds like a blast, except I'm the one who would have been doing the jumping. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy with how I came up, but I do sometimes wonder what an indie career would have been like for me. It sounds like an adventure. Huh. What? Just gets me thinking about our match. About whether I'm going to pin or submit you? No, well, not exactly. Someone recently pointed out that I was lucky enough to experience a fantastical whirlwind tour when I got to WWE. I got to have the adventure. I'm wondering if I should pay it forward. What do you have in mind? You're confident you're gonna beat me anyway, right? Anytime, any place. I was really hoping you'd say that. You want to do what? It's just going to be two matches. Best of three series. So yeah, it might go to if Bianca really has no fight in her. It'll probably go two. That's as many as I need. It's not the best of three series that gives me pause. It's the locales. It is the usual custom to defend the WWE Women's World Championship on WWE TV. Sure. We could do that if we want to stick with what's comfortable or, get this, we fight for the Women's World Championship in the coolest indie arenas around. Japan, Mexico, we could even go back to your old stomping grounds in the UK. Honestly, 
Sounds like a great way to push that grassroots international exposure you business types are always talking about. And you know what else it sounds like? Oh, I'm positive you'll tell me. It sounds like a big swing. It sounds like taking advantage of every opportunity on the table. And it sounds like doing something different without being afraid to fail. I know what you're getting at, and I'm not sure I like you turning my words back on me. I'm sorry to interject, but this is ridiculous. It's, it's unheard of. Allowing a WWE champion to defend at these underground indie shows? Untelevised? What about... What about the advertisers? Advertisers? Really? I'm afraid Troy makes an excellent point. Marketing will hate this. See? Fortunately, this is not a marketing company. This is a professional wrestling company. A professional wrestling company that's going to take a swing and whose general manager cannot wait to get on the road. Ugh. The only question is, where to first? Don't look at me. This is your world. I'm just the adventuring tourist who gets to hit you wherever you so choose. So it's my choice where we fight then, the, the UK or Mexico, the Lucha Magic, and and since I'm in based in the UK, I think I'm gonna pick. It may be my world, but I say UK. we make it your world to start. What if we go back to your old territory? Match one at Club UK. God save the king. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making our way to the ring from New York. The Superstar! And from Knoxville, Tennessee, the WWE Women! World Champion, Bianca Belair! Interesting. Here we go. And Club UK set the tone on offense against Bianca Belair. I plan to. down.
Tem uma. Oh, não. Boa. Dear, dear, dear. That cannot have gone as you'd hoped. No. Everything went exactly according to my plan of getting hit in the face a bunch. Are you regretting giving Bianca the invitation into the Indies? Not at all. I miss the intimacy of a smaller show. The interaction with the fans. Just didn't expect Bianca to pull the same energy from the crowd quite as easily as she did. Bianca got very comfortable, very quickly. If she had come up in the Indies, I would have wanted her for TBD. But that's not going to stop me from beating her at our next stop. Which raises the question, where to next on this great tour of the world? Oh, Japan. Los Angeles. I think we're going to Japan. I've given that some thought with an ice pack on my jaw. Bianca hits hard, and so do I. So let's go to the home of strong style, Japan. Sure, if you buy at the Japanese steakhouse we always go to. Deal. That feels like a fitting celebration once I beat Bianca. But only the food. I'm not buying you another jacket. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from New York. The Okay, defeat Young Camilla by pinfall or submission to tie the score, I guess.
Liverpool. No. Oh, no. Oh. Hangman to the outside. Oh. Sneaky pins on me. Oh, no. Come on. Well done. A rebound. Nice cloud line. Oh, not that. Oh, I hate that. Oh! I escaped that. Suplex. Oh. Nice. Oh. Going for the finisher. Oh no! Dodged it. Oh. Oh. Back in there. Oh. And for the suplex again. Okay, yeah. I got a winner. 
Ladies, it appears that you two will be going to a final match. Fitting, really. Winning that championship will be even sweeter after going the full series. Don't get cocky. No way you beating me twice in a row. Before you two launch into a witty repartee, I have an update. I've just spoken to the suits in Stamford. They have... thoughts. Well, that's never good. Word of your genuinely marvelous matches has spread, and so has the buzz. They were insistent that the next match will be on WWE television. They want us to do the match on Raw? You promised us we could see this through in indie arenas. Indeed I did, so I reached an agreement. We will be producing a portion of next week's Raw live from the location of your final match. Oh, wow. Uh, listen, I know this is a stretch, but how would you both feel about having the match at T... TBD? Yes, a surprising and unexpected suggestion from you, which is why I have already given instructions for the row crew to meet us there. Wow, it's gonna be super embarrassing to lose on your home turf, but I, for one, am here for it. One idea, though. What's that? With everything I know about TBD, and since it's the final match, kinda seems like it should be no DQ, right? Bianca Belair, you have no idea what you just asked for. <laughs> Deal. Geneva is gonna freak. Wow. I'll second that wow. And raise you a hot damn. They really got to work in here, didn't they? Can you believe it? After the hectic morning I've had with the crew to get this set up, I can. I had to yell at some guy named Troy a lot. He kept wanting to cover up the TBD signage with raw logos entirely. <laughs> Sounds like Troy. <sighs> I'm really glad that I could do this for you, Geneva. For us. Did you ever imagine that we'd be here? Honestly, you main eventing a TBD show feels pretty familiar to me. This one just has more logos. You know what I mean. This is different. Later tonight, I'm gonna win the WWE Women's World Championship in the house we built. Living the dream. Hey, you get ready. I've got some contracts to look at. <laughs> Same as always. But seriously, don't get too caught up in paperwork that you forget to enjoy yourself tonight. This is big. Big, big. I know. It is. And I won't. But I also know you'll enjoy this enough for the both of us. Good luck out there. It's a TBD homecoming for the captain. You can see the emotion all over Cap's face. We are tied in this best of three series, and she wants to win it at home. That might be the daydream, but the nightmare comes when she loses it all in front of her hometown crowd. Can the prodigal daughter return home and win the Women's World Championship? Okay. Different location for war. The WWE has come 
to TBD. No ring announcer. Okay. Do you think Bianca's got jitters here tonight, competing out of her element on the captain's home turf? Bianca Belair is a world-class athlete and superstar, no matter what the venue. I think she'll be just fine. Bianca wants to show everyone in TBD why she's the EST. Introducing the challenger from New York, the Superstar! And her opponent from Knoxville, Tennessee, the WWE Women's World Champion, Bianca Belair! This is what these competitors have worked so hard for. The Women's World Championship in the balance. Okay, here we go. It's the main event of WWE at TBD. The title is at stake as TBD original cat. Win the Women's World well Championship. Match for the Women's World Championship. A WWE title defended all over the world and now at a U.S. indie promotion? I never would have believed it. Well, believe that despite the feel-good story, Cap has a huge challenge ahead of her to walk away champion here tonight. Oh, oh my, what a splash! And the champ doesn't even let the count start. She's still got a lot of stamina left. Take it down. Oh. Take down. Party's over. Good night. She faked her out. She kicks out at one. Keep no. it at bay for now. Well, I'm gonna get that. Brought down. And she dies take that down. Nicely. Oh. Mm. Enable the counter. She'll take things into the ring. Caught an elbow to the gut for that effort. He decides. Jeez. Trying to put the champ out of sort. Maybe even discombobulate them. Ah, striking with an A. Oh, and she turns it around. Oh. Uh-oh. Looking for more damage here. Oh, oh no. Suplex. The champ taking command. So much damage inflicted. And Belair gets beat to the punch. Kick to the gut. Oh, brutal form. The champ not looking great right now. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Oh, boy, she found a kendo stick. This match might just get hard to watch. Delivers an axe handle. Oh. Come on, Cap. Oh, no. Scoop slam from behind. Then oh. Then scoop slam. Nice. Ah, oh, spike face first. Thank you. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh no! From behind, chop block. Oh. 
on. Oh, manhandling their opponent. Wolof, man. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Toss back into the ring. Hey, we're all getting free tickets to the gun show. The Kick gun show. Okay. Oh, do my. Oh. Uh oh. So strong. Oh so no. First the gorilla. No. Bye, Belair. Into this one's all but over. Big kick out. No oh. Oh. Oh, oh no. No. She's quick to get her shoulder up. Wow. Oh. Oh no. Say goodnight. Oh. I think the champ's got it. Makes the cover. And a kick out. Oh. Superstar possessed the fortitude to do what we just witnessed. Very few, how about almost none? This match just went to the next level. Oh. to be contemplating your next step. Oh. If that was her plan A, she needs to move to plan B. Oh. Fighting out. Hammer away with there we go. To the face. Oh. And now thrown back into the ring. Oh boy, to the announce table now. Oh yeah, gonna clean it off here. This is gonna be dangerous. We knew this superstar had a mean streak. We didn't realize that they were downright ruthless. Oh, come on. Solid punch. Uh oh. Belair able to adapt. Every maneuver being returned. Here we go. It's popping off. Oh. Slugging away with everything they've got. Nothing pretty here, just good old fashioned fisticuffs. Ooh! The willpower, the sheer guts of these two. Oh. oh. Cover by the champ. Oh, no. Kick out after one from the challenger. Wow, I thought this was over. Oh. Belair wants to end this right now. the room to land a back elbow. Right, pump handle. Pump handle coming. Boom. Incredible suplex. Bianca wobbling. Looks vulnerable. Oh. Kick to the midsection. Oh, this is oh. so much fun to watch. Oh, oh, bomb. Got to see a new champ for the win. Uh, two. Amazing. Ooh. Oh. Champion, are we close to the start of a new reign? And that result leaves everyone shocked. But will the shoulder come up if that move hits one more time? Oh, oh, stay That's a new one. Oh, no, we're gonna fight her way back into control. Oh, no, series of clotheslines. And what does Bel Air want next? Oh. No. Move that way. Fends off the attack with an elbow. Catches the leg. Oh. She saw it coming. Catches the kick. No. Taking their time. Oh, the vertical suplex. suplex. Standing to play. for the championship. Two, three. And just like that, this journey for the woman they call the captain reaches a conclusion with a victory over Bianca Belair. Hey, this is no 70,000 seat stadium, but on this night in this small theater, this audience feels like WrestleMania.
Well, there's nothing like WrestleMania, but I think it means a little bit more to this superstar that her first championship win happened here. A full circle moment, Corey. This woman has followed along in a winding road that brought her back to her beginning. What's next for this superstar, this WWE Champion? The sky's the limit. What's Becky Lynch doing here? Becky was the number one contender until she got injured after War Games. Becky's not moving like she's injured now. What does she want? What do you think, Saxton? No, 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 no. Not in my ring. TBD promoter Geneva Rose is not having it. I get she's ride or die with our new champion, but what's she going to do to stop Becky Lynch? You got WWE problems. Go settle them on WWE time. Because believe me when I say, if anyone, anyone tries to interrupt my best friend's hard-won moment, it's gonna be me. No, they've been friends for years. Don't trust anybody. This is an assault. This is karma, Saxton. You can only step on so many people before you pay the piper. And she's paying now, but for what? Thanks for coming home, Cap. It was so generous for you to put this show together for me. I know you think I'm slumming it around here, but you forget that I'm proud of what we built together. And I know you're used to taking the credit for everything. So I thought it was important for me to make an appearance tonight, to set the record straight. You'd be nothing without me. Let me be clear. I am not just some best friend side character in your hero's journey. What do you think I've been doing since you left? Sitting around and just following your career with rapt attention? You moved on. I did it. And I've been putting everything I have into growing TVD. So, when Becky approached me, I was more than happy to help turn your moment into my moment. You can feel the bitterness from Geneva Rose, the jealousy. Recognize this? The contract we wrote in the diner when we first started TBD. Yeah, I had it framed. Thought it was a nice touch. Especially now, because according to this legally binding document, you're still signed exclusively to TBD. You can't work anywhere else. You can't be champion anywhere else. And you belong to me. But she's a WWE superstar. Not according to Geneva Rose. See you next week, Cap. Don't be late.